Hello folks and uh, welcome back to Malta For Real and uh, welcome to my wine cellar. Now as part of your tours of the island that we're going to offer you is a wine tour. Now when I've spoken to people before about um, Maltese wines very often they turn around and say does Malta produce wines? I didn't know Malta produced wines or, oh no, I don't want to try Maltese wines, oh dear, they, they taste awful. Well, what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to actually prove to you that Malta does produce a large number of wines and also a large number of good quality wines. Now, if you happen to look here behind me, for those of you who think Malta doesn't produce any wines, there's more than 120 bottles here all from Malta and they're all different wines from m very many different wine companies now they range in quality and they also range in price just like any other company so what we've actually got we could start off with a a, a nice table wine here Lavalette from Marsovin this one you'd actually use um, just as an everyday wine and you could go right up to something extremely uh, collectible. Again, another one from Marsovi, the Grand Maitre, sealed in silver, done for collectors. Now, what we're going to do while you're on your holiday is give you the opportunity to taste as many of these wines as possible. Now, what we've got down here, we've got. Maltese Falcon by Dedicata, a lovely Merlot, beautiful with rabbit, and uh, for those of you who don't know, um, rabbit and garlic is um, a traditional Maltese dish. Now this uh, lovely Dedicata wine goes beautifully with it. For those of you who might be looking for um, a present to give anybody at home, here's another one again by Delicata and uh, it has an absolutely beautiful label on it very catching and Blue Creek tastes wonderful too so what we're going to do is we're going to give you every opportunity to try these wines with the traditional foods at different restaurants so even if you're not into wine itself you'll at least be able to have a decent glass of Maltese wine with a good traditional Maltese meal. And those of you who think that Malt Malta does not produce lots of wines, then here's the evidence. This is my own personal collection here, put together over many years. The oldest bottle's been about 40 years old. So, anyway folks, thanks for listening and thanks for watching. And I'll join you in a glass of wine later. Bye for now.